Welcome back to Judgment. I've kind of run around and uh, done some things. I just kind of grinded through some of the batting courses to see if we can unlock this. See if my understanding is correct on what we need to do for this guy. No. Like, still can't do that. I've, that's getting a little bit frustrating. How many courses does it want me to clear? It says five. But there's like only so many fucking courses. I don't understand. I guess I'm just gonna have to complete the whole goddamn batting center for that. Like I said, that's frustrating as fuck. But I should have what I need to appease this fucking god over here or whatever. And... That's just frustrating. It's like, I, I, I'm I sitting here grinding through all of this fucking shit at the batting courses. Ugh, okay, just get away. I hate that. Like, it's it's vague as fuck and they're like, oh, do that. And you're like, what, you're just supposed to go back to that guy after every fucking course? To try to find out, is this enough? Is this enough? Is this enough? Is this enough? It's never enough. And it's already like kind of a pain in the ass just trying to grind through mini games like that. So I don't know what they fucking want from me. <sighs> I don't know if they consider like, cause there's the home run courses, which they have like four listed there. There's like a fifth one. Uh huh. I don't really care. Um. There's like a fifth one listed on this this guide page that I was using. And then there's the challenge courses which have levels one, two, and three for like four different levels. And then like something you unlock afterward, I guess. Those those last ones unlock after you, and you can see them after all of that. So I don't know if they consider, because they kept saying complete five courses. Like everything I could find, it all it said was complete five courses, and that's if you can find anything on it to begin with. And it's like, okay, so what's five courses? Is that is like level one, two, and three for a challenge course count as just one course? Then not each level is a course, so it's kind of dumb. Ugh. I know. Uh. I was discovered in the remotest of remote mountains, plus I had this recipe for medicine that no one's ever seen. Not only that, but the effects of these extracts are nigh supernatural. Even I can't explain it, and I make them. So I figure it either has to be the work of a Tengu or some other kind of mountain god or aliens, like you said. <laughs> it's hard to dismiss those claims, especially after seeing the extracts work their magic. So I still have no idea who my parents are, the only family I've ever known are these dragon pa Dragon's Palace citizens. I initially thought of this as a temporary housing situation that I somehow got stuck with, but now whenever someone asks who I am, I find myself saying the Hermit of the Dragon's Palace. <sighs> Alright, well he's done. We've at least got that much. Uh, can I pick the right floor? Ah. <sighs> That grindy shit is what can really start to wear me down. Like, okay. I just, I'm just done. Did I have a couple more things going on here? Let's go do that. The dates are kind of feeling grindy. You know, kind of a means to an end. Um, Nanami's date stuff and her story are just frustrating and stupid. Um... So I don't like her, so I'm, I'm ready to, for her to just fucking confess so I can ditch her. <laughs> I'm, I'm so done. Uh-huh.
Is there a fucking cat? No shit. The bag. Okay. Well. I guess that's all we're looking at. And we found the cat. I wouldn't have expected the cat. Care. They're hard to figure out, so I don't know. Fuck them. Uh, put the phone aside. It's got the home run. I'll, I'll just have to grind them some more when I'm feeling a little bit more patient about it. I was patient, but I was like, surely we've done it. No, that's not enough. It's never enough. Uh. <laughs> I was just at casino because A, I don't care, and B, uh, we haven't gone there yet for a date. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. I, I wouldn't say I'm in a mood, but uh, I guess it oh. it is like mood killer to sit there and be struggling to try to figure out this fucking friendship. I just kind of want it over with because I've just been sitting there and I just want it done. <sighs> uh huh. Play some more. Why not? I don't know if this is gonna like. Fuck it, let's just... Oh my god. If it can go forever or because we won she won and it didn't quit on its own so I imagine we just get to play until we're done
Publishing company. There's always a publishing company. Okay. Always like to read. Interview questions. Interviews give me anxiety. I have interview anxiety, so I can feel for. Take a picture together now. Hey, look, she's in the picture this time. is this? Don't tell me this is her fiance or some shit. God, you guys. Uh, that's a little bit uh, self-indulgent, don't you think? I have metamorphosed into a true English gentleman worthy of your affections and praise. Can you stop monologuing for a second? 
Yes, my liege? What are you even doing here? I thought you were studying in England. But of course, I have completed my academic pursuits and hence returned. I already made a journey to Tokyo, so I took it upon myself to find you, and here we are. Two lovers reunited. Is this guy really him? Even though I named himself earlier and stated that he was my fiance, I still find it hard to believe. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'm no servant. What? Then just who do you think you are? Ah! ah. Uh... I'm a friend. A friend, you say? Well, I'm Tsukino-san's dearly beloved. And for you to traipse about with her unchaperoned is entirely unacceptable. Uh, so I don't mean to knock you off your high horse, but she and I were trying to have a conversation here. How much is your salary and what's your net worth? Half a pence and a moldy loaf of bread, I'd wager? And why should I tell you? Who the fuck is that? My bank account in Switzerland. Astound this peasant with its content. Two hundred million. <laughs> oh god. Guys like that. People like that. <laughs> Hold on to what? I haven't fully thought this marriage through yet. I mean, I haven't even graduated college. You promised me when we were children. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at the sandbox in the playground and you came and up and told me let's get married when we grow up. Ugh. Oh god, I can't even read his sentences. His dialogue is frustrating just to look at. I'm pretty sure he's full Japanese. In fact, he's from the countryside somewhere out in Ibaraki. I think he gets all caught up in that persona of his because he studied overseas. Uh. Alright, when we were finished with the Twisted Tree O2. <laughs> I don't really think you do attract strange men. Maybe so. You really said you were gonna marry him as a kid? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Proposals you make as a child don't ex actually count, do they? No, I don't think so, but he seems to have taken it seriously enough. There's always gotta be something weird. The first goal was the most reasonable. I mean, she's not bad. Sorry, yawning. But now she's got this weirdness. Still better than the anatomy. Um, well, that kind of fizzled out, didn't it? Oh, jeez. Try to get a lot of- just try to plow through some of this side stuff, honestly, so... I'm about ready to move on with the story. <laughs> wow. More like the D for delusional. Now beat it. You're bothering the other guests. Not to mention wasting my time. Is it say talking to Deguji san? He was supposed to be working on that tuna boat. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, Deguji san. Aren't you supposed to be somewhere right now? You know, like the middle of the ocean? Well, that was my intention, but I realized something that no matter how hard I try, I still want to be the number one host. <laughs> Plus, boats make me queasy in the first place, so I busted a mission back here as soon as- as quickly as I could. Yeah. 
Nope, haven't said a word to Aunt Fouye. She probably have an ulcer if she found uh. out. So you ran away without telling anyone because you didn't want to do the work. Speaking of which, I made the mistake of hiring this Dumbo after listening to all his bragging and boasting. I had to watch him walk out on the very first day because cleaning toilets wasn't part of the job description. Yeah, it wasn't. Besides, I had no idea I'd get fired over it. Gucci san you really should have thought about your aunt before doing all this. How much have you paid her back since we last talked? I'm guessing not a single yen. If this host thing pans out the way it should, I'll be able to get her back everything in no time. But how can you expect to be a host if you can't last a day on the job? It only happened because my talent was left unrecognized. Seriously, they don't know what they're missing here. Okay, I've heard enough. You think you deserve another chance to work here? Then you're going to need to prove it. Does this mean I get my job back? That would only reinforce your habit of blustering through life. So no. Instead, I want to see how good you are at getting a girl's attention. No, I'm talking about being comfortable around women and finessing the conversation. That's how we make our living. Well, I've talked to plenty of women before. Let's see. My aunt's a woman. So is my cousin. All right. I've come up with the perfect skills assessment for you. You and Yagami-san will face off in a contest of flirting. If you win, I'll see if I can get you rehired. Wait, why do I have to be involved? <laughs> First off, I'm too busy to watch him myself. And second, isn't he part of some case you're working on? That means here's your responsibility. Besides, he'll probably learn his lesson if he loses to an amateur like you. Uh... I understand your logic, but I'm not his guardian. Yagami well, Yagami-san, will you help me out? Otherwise, my future will be drowning in tuna. And not the kind that, <laughs> that that hosts want. This dude just... Oh my god, what a lazy motherfucker. Only because I feel bad for Sarah. <sighs> nah. So, what do we need to do for this flirting contest of yours? Basically, you need to flirt with a girl based on my criteria of choice, and after you make first contact, take a cute picture with her before reporting back to me. Oh, and make sure you explain this contest to her, too. That sure is asking a lot from a complete stranger. Any host who wants to work at Stardust should be able to do this half asleep. But I don't even plan on being a host. You find a girl wearing white, and Yagami-san, you find a girl wearing red. First one back with a picture wins the contest. Uh, okay. Girls who are on their way somewhere are generally cold prospects. Instead, find a girl who's just standing around. Also, you'll need to rely on your observational skills. Since this is a competition here, talking to every girl you see might not be the best tactic. Instead, try figuring out what kind of girl would actually stop and listen to you. That will make or break your game. Wow. Not even gonna give me a hint, huh? up to theater square I guess
Man, this acquaintance of mine were going around taking pictures of girls. Wait, that sounded bad. Yeah, it did. Dang, I think I screwed up. I didn't mean to start or anything, but I know so you see more words, so I thought maybe I could help. Bartender. Actually, Tinder's not that far away, so I wouldn't mind guiding you there. <laughs> Why don't I introduce myself? I only stalk the bad guys, I'm a detective. Ah, oh, jeez, this is interesting. Take a quick photo. Got suckered into a contest to find someone who would take a cute picture with me. <laughs> That's pretty stupid, but hey, at least you're honest. That's my policy. actually a nice picture. Didn't think he'd pull it off. Why wouldn't anyone want a picture with the future emperor of the night? Wow. So he came back empty handed. Of course I did. The whole thing's impossible. No matter how much I talked or what I said, they didn't want to hear it. I got a picture just fine. He totally destroyed you, man. I had no idea you were such a player. He's not even a host. If your game's not even on his level, you might as well pack your shit. Can you just give up here? Not when I've come so far? Please, just one more chance. If I beat you again, you'll give up this nonsense for good? Alright. Let the rematch begin. Find a girl who's still attending school. University, junior college, doesn't really matter. Okay. Won't be kind of hard to find a student around here, though? But true, then consider it a handicap since you won uh, last time. Handy crap. <laughs> you guys ready? First one back wins. Now get out there. Okay, girl that's still attending school. Uh... Good lord. I don't feel good about that one. There's just no way. Hello. 
There's something wrong. So what's my little brother? Now he's nowhere to be found. About eight years old. Oh lord. Oh lord. Am I supposed to find the child? Oh jeez. I don't know. I don't. Okay, so I I'm thinking that that's like, yeah. There's no way. Like, she's just gonna... Right? There's no way she's gonna take a picture with us, though, right? Like, she's too worried about like her little brother or whatever. Cause that seems to be an indication that we're supposed to find her her little brother. I would think. I guess we can try. But there's no way it's gonna work. Oh my god, guys. Ah, oh, this is... Okay, so now go back over to her, I guess. Crap, my arm's falling asleep. <laughs> oh my god. Sis, you came. Well, would you mind taking a picture with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You were trying to use my girl as a wall, and I know you host sickos thing. 
Oh, that wasn't my intention at all. Very inner world of hurt. If I help him now, I'm, I'm, I'll almost certainly lose the contest, but if I don't, then Deguchi will lose several teeth. Ah! Uh, oh. Come on, he needs to learn his lesson, right? Uh, will it actually let us ignore it? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> You're my client's nephew. After all, I couldn't just let you get hurt. Yeah, I could. Let's just get back to Seiya. So now that we got a picture, then I guess that makes us a draw. What do you mean? He saved me from getting beaten up. If he hadn't stopped what he was doing and helped me out, I'm sure he would have won. Yeah, that was pretty close. Then you admit your loss? Then carefully, your dream of being a host is on the line here. I don't want to cause you any more trouble than I already have. I owe you, man. Yeah, I'll go work on the tomb boat like I promised. I'm a failure as a host anyway. No one here thinks you're a failure, Deguchi. At first, I thought you were just another wannabe who talked big and couldn't back it up. But now I know you really can. You mean that? Yeah, and I've been watching you work your magic out there, too. You ended up talking to way more girls than I expected. I know I'm not the best looking guy, so I figured I'd just talk my ass off until some magic actually happened. And you kept at it, too. Despite how many times you got rejected. Even though many of them said horribly crippling things that will scar me for years to come. <laughs> None of that really matters as long as my dream is alive. Besides, I'm sure there's at least one girl out there who can appreciate my style. Not sure where your confidence comes from, but I like that you stick to your guns. You're super, enth super enthusiastic too. With a little bit polished, you could end up being a pretty decent host. Get on the tuna boat. As long as you pay your debt. Oh boy. Guess is that I don't know what I would have done without you. Make sure to explain your situation to your aunt and get her approval. <laughs> Shabuya. Wow. Well, if I can persuade a strict old lady like my aunt that talking to girls on the street should be a cinch. In theory. Well, that's another friendship down, huh? Wow, just just a lot of wow happening. And we got just a couple of side cases left. Oh, the photojournalist job and beef zone.
八神さん。いえ。perilous hide and seek。お願いします。oh boy。Yeah. I don't want to judge a single dad, but I feel bad for a Yuma Kun if this is how it always is. <sighs> okay. Well, that that's in that construction area. Background Kamarocho Hills. Um. Beef Zone. That that is Beef Zone. So, oh, when it's dark, okay, it's got to be dark. Let's go find this kiddo. And then. We have one more side case over around. What was it? Around Pink Street or something? Stuff. Oh. Okay. There he is. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, cat. cat. Fucking cat. Cat and a kid. Got it. Your dad's really busy at work, so I came to find you again. This poor kid. Okay, he's really swamped. Why do you always hide in places like that? It's dangerous and you could really get hurt. Because it's dangerous. Forget it, I'm going home. Is he hiding in such dangerous places to get his dad's attention? Well, at least the job's done. I'll get in touch with Ohata. Mush, mush. Yeah, I did. I know. Sorry, sorry, late for a meeting. Damn. We're punk. He hung up. Wonder if he even pays attention to him when they're together. That poor kid. Yeah. No shit. All right, we got a message. Now we have another thingy down here. Let's check the message. We still don't know about Nanami and Yuko. Huh. 
wonder if we got any more stories for that guy in the champion district. Good lord. Jeez. Um, yeah, this way. Uh, like, that guy needs stories anyway, so we'll just make sure we're doing a bunch of side cases first. We'll go back, like, maybe in a couple of chapters. Oh, her. What's wrong? I'm not the one who requires your aid. You must go after the Great Calamity. Oh, you sure you're okay? Gas pains. Uh. I witnessed a Great Calamity on a passerby, but when I warned him, he lashed out at me. He told me I was annoyingly persistent. Why would he say that? Because I foresaw his future about a month ago as well, a Calamity of Fire, and when I saw him again earlier, I couldn't help but notice how alarmingly large the aura of his Calamity had become. I've never seen anything like it to be frank, so I warned him again, and that's when he attacked. And that's when he attacked you, huh? From his perspective, you probably seem like a scammer or something. Regardless of the calamity of that magnitude, I cannot even imagine the havoc it may wreak. And as a calamity of fire, it could have horrifying consequences. In other words, she needs me to look into this guy. Should I accept? Help. Hi. Uh. Headed okay. towards Showa Street. Alright. I saw something about Plump. No, it's Plump and Showa Street. Yeah, straight down. I wish I had... You, you would think I have the streets memorized by now, but I don't. There we go. Gotta find this guy. Embroidered jacket, short black hair, overweight. Not giving us SP for that. We probably lose SP for getting it wrong, huh? But why would you just straight up assault the lady, man? There's like nowhere to hide. There it was. Jeez. This guy. Gee. 
every other fucking step, you know? Kidding me. Really? I'm trying to time it so I don't lose sight of this motherfucker. That was close. Holy crap, I thought I was gonna have to go like upgrade my stuff. Is he looking for something? Seriously? I just put this fire out. He's he started it? Where did he go? I have to catch up. Oh shit. Uh uh shit, he ran off this way, yeah? Oh shit. No way, no way, no way, where is he? Fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Shh. I was supposed to go around the other way and that's where I was trying to go. Oh man, this 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 one is something else. <laughs> oh shit. Man, this tailing session is intense. What the fuck? Yeah, I was trying to go down that alleyway because I figured that's where he went and then I jumped the wall instead, so that was that was fucking fun as hell. Yeah, can you go place? Please don't get roasted. Wait, where the fuck? Okay. Man, you gotta be careful with this guy. He is something else.
I'm having to be extra cautious. What the fuck is he doing? Thank God. <laughs> this was getting a little bit too much. Ooh. Little Asia? It's not our construction. What business would he have going there? area burns so well. Is that gasoline I smell? Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to start something here, so stay out of my way. Arson, eh? You're not the victim of the fire calamity, you're the catalyst. That fortune teller sent you here? She freaked me out. I thought she was on to me. Yeah, and it's thanks to her that I can prevent you from doing this. You aren't preventing shit. I'll be the next one to turn Kamarocho into a sea of flames. <laughs> and Little Asia will be the beacon that signals the, uh, the coming uh... storm. Dude, you're nuts. So how about you shut up and let me kick your ass? Who knows? Maybe it'll knock some sense into you. Obviously something happens in Little Asia somewhere along the lines in, in the Ogg of the franchise. <laughs> some, like, but... It wouldn't be the first time, like, Kamurocho is, like, bombed or set on fire or something like that. So it's just kind of a regular thing. Hmm. And a quality wire. Uh. <laughs> she was right on the money yet again. I'm starting to wonder maybe I shouldn't be doubting her. You guys have wanted arsonist. We can't let little Asia go up in flames ever again. It would be a huge disaster. Okay, yeah, it's like somebody fucking burns the shit out of little Asia, I guess. Uh, he seemed pretty suspicious, so I followed him here. Yeah, like, I kind of straight up want to date the fortune teller. Babbling about turning Kamarocho into a sea of flames. If my power was able to save lives today, then there's little more I can ask for, except how would you feel about forming a partnership? I predict the calamities and you minimize the damage. I think we've proven that we're an effective <laughs> team. Current arrangement is working out just fine. I already have a partner. His name is Kaito and he is sexy. Okay. I think that's enough diddling. Let's go over to our main task at Kyushu. Kyushu. Oh, hi. Uh, for fuck's sake. 
I really don't want to talk to this guy. Oh. Hattori san? Ah, kore wa doumo Yagami san. Yay. Moshikashite kiji no shashin sumago de totte. Eh, juubun kougashitsu desu kara ne. Ikemasen ka? Iya, betsu ni. Gurume reporter ni demo naru no? Atashi wa kyoumi ga aru koto wa nan demo tettei teki ni shuzai suru shugi na no de. まだ結構かかるのかこっちの用は分かってんだろすぐ終わりますよこれで終わりました I guess they were like here save if you want 不思議なもんですあなたと差し向かいでラーメンとは Oh trust me I'm not super excited about it 来るなんてねそういうのいいから<laughs> ね、Are you gonna smoke or eat? Yari to the Hodonokoto, who go by your bitai to Kini, Atasio, your bits get a dake this. Mark shut to still a knock out to stick tie, I did a sine. Says a deal, says a demo, right, Massa. Ah, Kaka, 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 この間殺された新谷先生あなたが第一発見者だったとか今日はアドデックナインを解説してくれるんじゃなかったかでなきゃあんたといる理由はないなわかりましたよじゃあ今日は一つ貸しってことで So I didn't want to talk with him 一般的に新薬の開発というのはまずその病気に効く化合物を見つけることから始まりますそれが新薬の候補になるわけですうんその効果を動物実験で試しパスすればようやく臨床試験臨床試験というのは要するに人体実験のことですねそうやって何年もいや場合によってはもっと長い時間をかけて効果や安全性を確認し新薬として製品化されますどえらく大変なのはわかるよさてこれまでのアルツハイマー治療薬はあくまで病状の進行を遅らせるものです感知させるものは一つとしてありませんしかし木戸博士のアドデックナインはマウス実験で目覚ましい効果を上げたんですもしそれが人体にも有効なら人類はアルツハイマーを治すことができる1年前の論文はつまりそういう内容だったわけですなるほどね八神さん,ん今日本では80歳を過ぎると4人に1人は認知症です例えば50代の夫婦がいたらそれぞれの両親4人のうち1人が発症する計算ですさらにその30年後自分か配偶者が認知症になってる確率は2つに1つ認知症は誰にとっても一言ではありませんいずれ自分にそれと疑わしい症状が出たら私ならすぐ診察を受けますね中にはうまく病状の進行を抑えながら仕事を続けている人もいます認知症は恐れるのではなく備えるべき病気ですその時一番の敵は社会の無理解と無関心でしょうね今のあなたのように分かったよではまず八神さんにはアルツハイマーの概要を知っていただきますが聞く気ありますか<笑> yeah, you do even have a now, right? 他に選択肢はないんだろう結構。じゃあ始めますね。I had a grandmother die of all time and I, I got it. I got it. にはいくつかタイプがありますが、その7割が普段のアルツハイマー病です。脳にアミロイドベータというタンパク質が蓄積することで発症すると言われています
すると神経細胞が死滅し徐々に脳が萎縮してしまうつまり頭の中にたまるカスみたいなのが脳を縮ませるってことかなりざっくり言えばですがねただそれさえ仮説の息を出ませんアルツハイマーにはまだわからないことが多いので脳が縮むとどうなる記憶に支障が出ますそもそも記憶には明記、貯蔵、検索というプロセスがありますがこの最初の手順である明記ができなくなる新しいことが覚えづらくなるんです一つ私が印象的に思った例を挙げましょうかある認知症患者に日付を聞いた時今日は何月何日と正しい答えが返ってきましたところで今が西暦何年かと聞くと1952年かななど何十年も前の年を答えることがあるそうです認知症ではそういった記憶の混濁が見られるというわけでああげる大体理解できたそうですかじゃあそのアルツハイマーにアドデックナインはどう聞くんだええ論文によると実験マウスに投与されたアドデックナインはオートファジーと呼ばれる細胞の辞職作用を引き起こします辞職作用自分のタンパク質を自分で分解する作用自分を食べると書いて辞職ですその作用で脳にたまるタンパク質であるアミロイドベータが瞬時に分解されるんです瞬時にええそのアミロイドベータが消えた結果マウスのアルツハイマーは完全に進行しなくなりましたしかも驚いたことに死滅していたはずの脳細胞が一部機能を回復したんですある科学者はそれをまるで脳の非常電源が入ったようだと言いましたもしこの作用を人体に対しても起こせたらアルツハイマーを治せるそうです患者は世界に数千万人今も着々と増え続けていますアドデックナインが完成すれば間違いなく莫大な利益を生むでしょうね売る方にも買う方にもまさに夢の薬です。But... 本当にそれは夢の薬なのか。話がうますぎるってこと。はい。例えば、創薬センターの副所長は何かアドデックナインの欠陥があると疑ってた。それを嗅ぎ回った結果。秘密を守る誰かに殺された行きずりの喧嘩に見せかけて秘密というとどんなデータの捏造とか薬の効果をでっち上げてたとかそういうことなら見当違いですねん,なんでアドデックナインは論文発表後マウスで何度も検証されていますしそれを裏付けるデータも揃っていますなんてありえませんあの新薬はすでに科学的に証明された存在なんです確かなのか確かですむしろ私は論文に多少のあらがあってもどんどん開発を進めるべきだと思いますね認知症治療薬は世界中で開発が進められていますもしよそに先を越されたら国家的な損失ですから木戸さんは慎重すぎますよいつまでも動物実験してる場合じゃありません I don't know about all this. すぐにでも臨床試験に入っていい臨床試験っていうのはつまり人体実験です人体実験まさかどうしましたいやじゃあアドデックナインには本当に何も問題ないのかそうですねこれは強いて言えばの話ですけど
。アドデックナインの論文は筆頭著者がキドさんとされています。なあ、実は論文に箱をつけるために名前を貸しただけみたいですね。研究の実質的なキーマンは別にいて、ほら、あなたも。ショーノという研究員です。黒幕はショーノか。アドデックナインは軌道じゃなく、ショーノが作った。そのようですね。まあ、単なる研究員の論文では誰にも注目されません。だから、その道の権威の名前で発表される方が、体裁も良い。でも、よく聞く話ですよ。大した問題じゃありません。はい。ショーの幼児。またあんたの名前が出てきたな。Like how everybody has mug shots of everybody on their phone. Alright, so now what? Be the case at the office. Let's do that! Go back to the office. ってんのか服部さんとの話どうでした役に立ちましたまあ多分。I guess we're like, hey, you can say! Yeah, hi kitty. Story! Story! 何じゃあ結局アドデックナインには何も問題なかったわけ。服部の話だとねでも木戸が名前だけのお飾りだったっていうのは初耳ですそうなるとやっぱりショーノの方に何かあるんですかねどうだろうなただそれより俺は服部と話してて一つ気になる言葉があったなんだよ人体実験それがアドデックナインはこれから人体実験に入る段階だし人体実験か<笑>なんか連想しちゃうね目をえぐられた死体とかアホかでその人体実験がどう気になるのいやだからモグラの殺しがさアドデックナインの例えば極秘の人体実験だったとしたらどうかなってお前までマジで言ってんのか仮にモグラの黒幕がショーノだとしてだとしてショーノが殺し屋に何人も殺しを頼んだってのかやっぱおかしいかもし人体実験だとしても認知症の侵略試すのにわざわざ人を殺しますかね、yeah. ウイルス兵器じゃあるまいしそこはほら未知のものすごい副作用があったとか殺したかったわけじゃなくて死なせちゃったんだよでも実験マウスが全然平気なんですよ。なのにいきなり人を死なせちゃうなんて。まさか。そのまさかが起きたんだとしたら。じゃあ、アドデックナインはマウスに無害で人間には猛毒だったってことですかはあ。だからその副作用をなくすために何人も実験する必要がある。それで、教霊界の連中を何人も殺してたとか。Shono needed to silence the Yakuza. He might have resorted to using the mole. Matta. So, 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 so,
そうだな。リエ、新薬の臨床試験は健康な人にもやるそうです。薬が人体に安全か確かめるために。最終的にはそうかもしんねえけど、やっぱ最初は患者からだろう。でもさ、勘弁しろよ。ちっと話、真面目に進めようぜ。みんな真面目に話してますよ。人体実験がどうのこうの真面目に話せねえっつってんだアホがアホ全ての可能性をちゃんと考察しない人の方がアホですよほうそうかい Why are we fighting about this? センターで殺されたワクってじいさんも人体実験だったのかもなへっ<笑>んなんだよ矢上さんが昔弁護した創薬センターの事件あの時殺されたワクさんは確かアルツハイマーだったよね。He just accidentally broke this case open, didn't he? あの事件の被害者はワクっていうアルツハイマー病の患者だった。でも、大久保新平は無罪になって、結局今も誰が何のためにワクを殺したかは分かってない。What's the motivation for that murder was a human experiment for 89? Ma, what's the skit? So, the son and my no jigen daro? Son and my cara, Ado de Kunain got the kicker? Tashkani, Ado de Kunain, the Rombu Hapio, a chin and my desna. Demo Tosan, Kenkyo, a son of the Tumaikara, Hajimate the Hazdas. Eh? Tukoto, Magica, Kore. まだ何とも言えませんけどこの話もう少し掘り下げてみませんもし3年前の事件が人体実験の結果だったとしたらスキャンダルどころの話じゃないよさっきの人体実験説続けてもいいですかいや、待って。なんか。何、なんか俺。今日頭さ。さ<笑> coming around on team black job。ああ。holy crap you guys。続けてもいい。ああ、はい、もう。Okay。They're giving us a break。a break point, I guess。ショーノが3年前に人体実験をやったとして、なんで急にそんなことしたんですかね。本来なら臨床試験に入る前に、もっと安全性を確認するでしょうし、ショーノの動機は何だったんです ?Why would ショーノ broken protocol? やっぱり画期的な新薬を早く人の体で試したかったうまくいけば世界を救うって新薬だそれでも正式な手順を踏んで臨床試験をやるまでには時間がかかる下手したら何年もそっかでもショーノのそばには認知症の患者がたくさんいてちょっとくらいの実験ならまずバレないでしょうし逆にうまくいったらバンバン罪ですそれですぐにでも世界を救えるなら多少危険を犯してでもでもその結果ショーノはまさかの副作用で患者を死なせてしまった3年前の事件についてはやっぱりそれによる事故だった気がするななるほどただし今は危険を承知で人体実験を続けているモグラを使ってまだ仮説の段階だけど今のところ筋は通ってるよな This is one messed up case さっきの八神さんの仮説でいくとじゃあ大久保って本当に無実だったのでもあいつその後恋人殺したよねだから死刑なんでしょよせすぎうらその話はまた後だああ
All right. Wait, wait. ところがその人体実験誰のこと言ってるの確かにそこまでリスクを Okay. Now, now we can get on the right track. That's fucked by now. It did seem like he was the one that would have done it, but. まあ、そうは見えねえな。せ その後実験で人が死んでるとか言われてももう抜けられませんよね。多分そうやって小野は軌道 え、やっぱりモグラの黒幕は小野ですよ。うん。じゃあ、その場合よ。最初に小野が殺し屋使ったのはいつだいつからモグラは動いている。First time show actually is an assassin would have to be Well, we, we know he used it for Shiki, but it would have had to have been one. He used the mole to kill someone. Did he really use the mole for Waku-san? Because... <laughs><笑><笑> ショウノ俺もそう思う。橋木が殺されずにいたら、そのうちでの人体実験に気づいたかもしれない。ええ、そうなったら、ショウノたちは破滅ですから。橋木を始末しようとするには十分な動機です。うん。いろいろ辻褄は合うって
Suki's still not totally on board. Uh -huh. さん年前にセンターで患者死なせたのが相当酒臭かったってね。結局あいつ本当は殺人鬼だったじゃない。だからみんな騒いだんでしょ。センターの事件で大久保を無罪にしたのが間違いだったって。いや、but yeah, there's something about that too.自分のせいじゃなかったと思いたい。違う。いい加減にしろ、杉浦。人の古傷なんだと思ってやがる。僕はもともと自分が感情に振り回されやすいって自覚があってさ。だから部屋で言おうっていつも努力してる。なんだと
we are like right there with story. It's it's a few chapters left. I feel like it's just gonna keep getting more and more intense. We we definitely are building and building. You can feel it. And there's lots of little details falling into place in a creepy sort of way. So seeing it all come together at some point, that's gonna be interesting. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.